Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see how to grow bougainvillea in small bonsai pot and get more flowers. Most of my bougainvilleas do really well, but I grew most of them in bigger pots like 14 to 16 inches wider. They look great, but there are some drawbacks of growing them in such bigger pots, like they are too heavy and difficult to move here and there, needs lots of water and so on. That is why I decided to try other method of growing bougainvillea and this time using a very small bonsai pot. Please follow the steps. Step number one, the depth of the pot is only three inches and it's eight inches wider. See, we are not going to take a pot with more depth or else it would be taller and we are not going to get a much fuller plant. For example, here is a cutting of my bougainvillea plant and depth of the pot is 6 inches. As a result, it's getting taller. Step number 2. We are also not going to use normal garden soil and here I am taking only 3 components in equal part. First one is sand, second one is cocoa peat and last one is vermicompost. In case we are going to use normal garden soil, it would grow like vine and would grow taller. Step number 3. I have decided to grow this plant and at, at present it's in a 8 inches wider and 8 inches deeper pot. Of course, I need to take out the plant from the current pot and let's do it. Step number 4. Removing old soil as much as I can. Few roots are also getting pruned. No worry, I am not going to kill the plant. In case your plant has more roots, you would also need to prune the roots so that it fits well in the small pot. Step number 5. Look like I still need to remove some more soil. Let's do it. Keeping some net on the drainage holes so that sand won't come out and water drains out well. As you can see, it's fitting well. Step number 6. It's time to report and let's do it quickly. The middle stem got dried and so pruning it. Watering thoroughly and next I would keep the plant under indirect sunlight for next 3 to 5 days and then I would provide 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. Let's see what happens next. Two more important steps we still need to do and that's why please do not skip. Very less flowers and it happened because of my mistake. I will discuss about it very soon. This is after 8 months. Plant is looking very weak and it also lost almost all the leaves. Definitely we should do something and here are the steps. Step number 7. First, I am going to prune the plant a bit. It was the month of October and normally I don't do hard pruning at this time. Just going to trim the long branches. I already have a video about bougainvillea pruning like when and how to do, saying in case you are interested in watching. I will put the link in description box or you can also click on the i button on top right corner. Step number 9. Getting rid of weeds and we can see that lots of growing medium is already gone. That is why the pot is looking empty. I am going to fill the gap with two components. First one is sand and second one is lacquer. You can also do like before. Here I am providing just an alternative. Filling the pot and before filling it completely, adding bascote. 
it's a slow release fertilizer and going to work for next five to six months seven grams would be enough and next cover it with the same medium instead of this we can also use seaweed extract once in 15 to 20 days and dose is 5 ml in one liter water i did the mistake by not applying nutrients on a regular basis and that is why before it was looking this bad This is 90 days after we have applied the nutrients and did other things. Great improvement, isn't it? Here is one more important step we need to do. Step number 10. Going to apply single super phosphate. Applying 5 grams and please always start with lower dose like 2 to 3 grams. We can apply this once in 30 to 40 days during the flowering time. This is after 100 days. Both the plant and the pot is looking cute and I hope you are liking the result. Out of 10, how many marks you would like to give me? Please let me know by commenting below. Also note, you can get similar or even better result if you provide nutrients on regular basis. That is why please don't do mistake like me. Like I said before, there are other methods too and by doing those, we can grow huge bougainvillea plants and get lots of flowers. In case you are interested in watching, please check out the next video. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching, take care and enjoy.